2,000 RPM. It's using 750 milliamps and 65 volts to the new spindle. This is traveling at 24 inches per minute feed rate. And it seems to be doing all right. My depth of cut might be a little too deep. It's picking up a lot of FR4. I set it for a 3 mil depth of cut. Board's already been drilled. Here's the spindle. It's, uh, it's not really hot. It's doing all right. It's water cooled here. Three phase power. Going all to the very sophisticated cooling system here. <laughs> Just a fish pump. And it's doing this board, which is uh, um, interfacing some manual uh, rotary encoder knobs to a stepper controller. So uh, I can rotate things inside the house and that'll change some motors manually outside the house for uh, tuning some variable capacitors. The trick to this was mounting this uh, machine vise perpendicular to these aluminum struts here. Um, the way I had it mounted before the other way is it was warping the vise or, or tilting it like this, so the elevation on this side was way different from the elevation on that side, and that's just no good when you're doing a 3 mil depth. If you look at that trace, it is a little, a little too deep maybe, but it's a first pass, so I can perfect the process as we go. This is a 10 mil, uh, end mil by the way, uh, surface feet per minute is uh, 136. 